What's up, everyone? Welcome back to AppGeeker channel. Today, I will show you how to fix an unavailable iPhone, no matter is an old iPhone 6s, iPhone 10, or a newer iPhone 12 or 13. Now, I get an iPhone 11 in my hand and it tells that the screen is unavailable to enter. Actually, Apple starts show your iPhone unavailable message instead of iPhone is disabled for new devices. In today's video, you will learn how to erase and restore your iPhone wirelessly through Apple ID and password. This is the new feature added since iOS 15.2. If this option doesn't help, you can try another Apple way, reset your unavailable iPhone with computer. This involved iTunes or Finder app. Either way, your data on the phone will be wiped completely, and device will get back to factory settings. If it still doesn't work, you may try iPhone Unlocker from AppGeeker and the link is below. Okay, let's get started. The first way we will try to reset your iPhone without computer is use the use your Apple ID and password. Before you do this, make sure your iPhone is running iOS 15.2 or newer. The device is connecting to a cellular or Wi-Fi network. You remember the Apple ID and password so that you can activate the iCloud activation lock during setup and use it as usual later. All right, let's have a look at how to reset an unavailable iPhone. From the lock screen, try entering the passcode. It tells iPhone unavailable, try again in minutes. Wait a while and enter a wrong code again, you will see a try again in five minutes message. After the timeouts, continue trying to enter your passcode, you should see the security lockout screen appear. You now should get the erase iPhone option in the bottom corner of the screen. You can now tap erase iPhone to reset your device instantly or just wait another a few minutes for your next passcode guess. If you can't see erase iPhone option on your device or it disappears after a restart when you see security lockout. On the lock screen, you need to try using computer to restore your unavailable iPhone with iTunes in the next method. If you're ready to go, simply tap Erase iPhone. In the next screen, it will tell us that you're in a security lockout situation. If you go ahead with Erase iPhone, it will wipe all contents and settings on your phone and reset it to factory settings. Let's move on. Tap Erase iPhone again to confirm, then enter your Apple ID password to sign out of your Apple ID. Be noted, this is not your iPhone passcode. It will start restoring your phone to its factory settings and delete all your data, including your photos, contacts, texts, notes, settings, passcode, and anything else. You can see the iPhone is loading. Just wait until it's finished. Alright so now the Apple logo appears and the device reboots with a hello screen. You can now set it up. Choose your language, select your country or region, connect to a Wi-Fi network or cellular, set up Face ID. If you're using an old iPhone, here should be Touch ID. Set a new passcode. On the apps and data screen, you can now choose to restore from iCloud or from your computer here. If you don't have a backup, you can select Don't Transfer Apps and Data to move on. Sign in with your Apple ID and password. Now, your iPhone is back to normal. If you can't get Erase iPhone option on the screen or it doesn't work no matter how you tap it, you can connect your locked iPhone to computer and open iTunes or Finder to restore the phone. It's going to download newest iOS software for your phone and reset it to factory defaults while removing the unavailable screen. At the same time, let's move on. Before you can reset the iPhone with iTunes, make sure you have a working PC or Mac nearby and a USB cable. First of all, you need to download iTunes on your computer if you haven't. You can get it from Apple website. We also offer a link below in the description for your download. 
One thing to be noted that you will need to use the Finder app in a Mac that's using macOS Catalina or later to handle iPhone update or restore tasks. Because I already have iTunes installed on my computer here, so here I won't go through the download process. If you have an old iTunes installed there, make sure upgrade it to the latest version. You can do this by click the help button on the top menu bar. And click check for update to complete it. So now what I'm gonna do is connect the iPhone to computer with the cable. As you can see, iTunes won't recognize the iPhone, the device is still showing unavailable. Now you need to put the phone into recovery mode. Depending on the model of iPhone, you have a different way of getting the phone into recovery mode. Don't worry, we will show you how to do. If you have a newer iPhone, like iPhone 8, iPhone 10, iPhone XR, iPhone SE, iPhone 11, iPhone 12, iPhone 13, press and release the volume up button, then press and release the volume down button, and then keep holding the side button. Here you don't need to swipe the slider on the top, just keep holding the side button. The iPhone should turn off automatically and restart, an Apple logo appear, just keep holding the button. It will turn off again and display the Apple logo but quickly turn into the screen with a cable point to a computer like this. If you see this, you're in recovery mode. If you have an iPhone 7, keep pressing the volume down and side button. Let the phone shut off and reboot with Apple logo. Don't release the button until it turns out a screen with a cable point to a computer. If you have an old iPhone 6s, 6, 6, or older device, keep pressing the home button and power button. When you see the Apple logo appear, don't release the buttons before the phone display the screen with a cable point to a computer. If you're unable to put your iPhone into recovery mode or it goes back into the unavailable screen on your phone, you can repeat the steps we mentioned previously a few times. We also have a detailed guide about how you can get an iPhone into recovery mode. You can find it below in the description part. Now, on your computer, you should see a pop-up window in the iTunes or Finder, just like this. iTunes now detects the iPhone and asks whether you want to update it, or restore it to factory setting. Here you need to click Restore. The iOS software will be downloading and then installing on your iPhone. This will erase all of your data on the device, but you can restore your data and settings from a backup during setup later. Wait a few minutes before your phone is erased completely. When you see the phone shut off, turn on, show you the Apple logo, hello screen, great. Your unavailable iPhone has been reset and go back to normal. You can now go through the wizards on the phone to complete the setup. Make sure you remember your Apple ID and password. If you don't know what is it, you will be stuck it there and won't be able use the phone, and you can't restore your data that you have backed up in iCloud or iTunes. Hopefully this video helps you fix the iPhone that displays unavailable or security lockout. If it does, please hit the thumbs up and share with your friends. See you in the next video.